Hi guys, my name is Ray Prakash. Let's continue with PNC now. Okay, so this is the next question here. Okay, so out of 20 consecutive natural numbers, out of 20 consecutive natural numbers, in how many ways can four numbers be selected? Must be selected such that any two among the selected numbers such that any two among the selected numbers differ by at least three differ by at least three okay very good question here right it's a very good question Okay, so we'll solve like you know, just pause the video and attempt for two five minutes at least. Attempt this question for five minutes. So watch last video, you know all the concept. Attempt this for five minutes, and then if you make any mistake and you see the solution, you'll learn a lot from this, right? Okay. I'm solving it now, assuming that we have solved the video and uh pause for five five minutes and solve it, right? I assume a lot of things. So let's say my assumption is correct or wrong. Huh? So now in this question, what you have to see three here is that 20 consecutive natural numbers. I have to select four numbers out of this, right? So I have to select four numbers out of this. So let my four numbers be one, two, three, and four. These are my four numbers out of, out of, out of 20 numbers. So again, the gap I'll take, let's say there are A numbers before first number, B numbers in between first and second, C numbers in between second and third. D numbers in, in between third and fourth and E numbers in after four numbers. What what restrictions I'll put here? So again, restriction should be E should be more than or equal to zero. E should be more than or equal to zero. Now, now don't put restrictions of three on B, C and D. This is the mistake you can do in this question, right? So because if you have to select four numbers, right, they differ by at least three. So when numbers differ by three, right? So like suppose numbers are like one, two, three, four, five, six like that. So numbers differ by three means if you're picking a number two, the next number you can pick is five. So numbers are differ by three, but the gap is of two. Gap is not of three, right? Mind this part. Okay. This mistake you can make in this question, right? So you've given this question here. Okay. So the gap, if it, if the numbers are differ by at least three, then the gap should be at least two. Then B, C, D all will have at least two on that part, right? Not three. This is a, this is one basic mistake you can do in such, such questions. Okay, so let's discuss that variety also. Everything we are discussing in PNC. Remember, I have started from the basics of PNC and absolutely peak level concepts you are doing in PNC, right? So this thing you have to get like yeah, you have to make most uh, use of it, right? You so many things, so many concepts collectively at a single place you won't get anywhere, right? So just understand each and every concept, the sequence I've put the question wise, right? Beautifully sequenced every question is, right? And see, after learning that question also, many people will make mistake in this question. Okay. So let's finish it now. So A plus B plus C plus D plus E is equal to how much? That is equal to out of 20 numbers. I already selected four. So I'm left with 16. We have to give two, two, two. So let's give two, two, two now. So that means we are left with 10, right? And 10 plus 4 plus sign 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 plus sign. What is the solution? It should be what is the answer? 14 C4. So 14 C4 is the answer for this beautiful question here. Right. I hope you got it. So I have to select four numbers. Take it. And those four numbers, the gap is A, B, C, D, E. As discussed in the last video, that gap concept, right? And this gap is at least two here yeah, because numbers are differed by three. It's like 20 natural numbers are 10 here. Okay. And numbers are differed by three. That means the gap is at least two. That means if I select one, I have to select at least four. Then gap will be of two. The number differ by three, one to four, but gap is of at least two numbers. Right? I hope it is clear. Okay. Now let's put a few more twists in this kind of questions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let's say if, if, if I give you this question here. Mm. In how many ways we can select four
फोर थिंग फोर बैट्स लेट से बैट्स और बॉज एनी थिंग ओके फोर बैट्स आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी डिस्टिंग बैट्स आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी डिस्टिंक्ट बैट्स इन अ रो सच दैट ऑल आर कॉन्जिक्यूटिव सच दैट ऑल आर कॉन्जिक्यूटिव न अगेन पॉज दिस वीडियो एंड ट्राई दिस क्वेश्चन राइट अगेन यू कैन मेक दिस मेक अ मिस्टेक इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू राइट एंड यूल मेक मिस्टेक एंड देन सी द सोल्यूशन विल हेल्प यू अलॉट राइट So let's discuss again. I assume that all of you, all of you have paused your video and solved it, right? So, so this, uh, what is the answer now? Answer would be seventeen, right? If you are correct, just move this video forward, huh? Otherwise, see here. So we have twenty bats here. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve till twenty. So I have to select four bats, and such that all are consecutive. That means how many cases I can have? One, two, four. One case, correct. Two, two, five. Second case. Three, two, six. Third case. Getting it right. So one, two, four. There is one way. Two, two, six. There are two ways. Uh, yeah. Three, two, seven. Uh, sorry. Three, two, 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 five. There are two way. Uh, second way. Three, two, six. There is third way. Like like that, huh? Then. So we are moving in blocks of four, four, right? So one, two, four, two, two, five, three, two, six. Now four to seven. There is only one way, right? Then five to eight, five to eight. Only one way, like that, right? So what we are doing here? We are moving in the blocks of one, one. Sorry, four, four. So once we are moving in the blocks of four, four, first way, second way, third way, right? So what is the answer till twenty? So how many blocks I can move? What is the last one I can make? So last one will be what? So last one will be what? Last one will be from seventeen to twenty. That last block will be from seventeen to twenty. So how many blocks? It's starting from one to seventeen. There are seventeen such blocks. So seventeen is the answer. Or what you can do simply here? You can simply do okay. This is twenty, and you select four. So it should be answer. Answer should be twenty minus four. That difference. And since both one and twenty are included, so what you can do is twenty minus four plus one seventeen. So seventeen is the answer for this question. Twenty minus four plus one. Seventeen is the answer for this question. Right? I hope it is clear. So in blocks of four four. So it's a bit of trick question actually. Right? Okay. Now, just let me change this question here. Okay. And see how the answer will change. Right? So I'm just changing this question here a bit. Okay, so the question here is, in how many ways we can arrange four bats now? Arrange four bats, right? This arrange is a chain I am putting here. In how many ways we can arrange four bats out of twenty distinct bats in a row such that all are consecutive? Now, what is the answer for this question? Tell me. So, answer will be like again. First thing is, if you have to do arrangement, right? I've always done, I've always told this. If you do arrangement here, always first do selection and then do arrangement, right? So if you first do selection, so out of twenty bats, how many uh, in how many ways you can select four bats? Twenty minus four plus one. We saw the last last slide. But the answer answer was seventeen. But in this case, you have to arrange those four bats also, right? There are four bats in your hand. All are distinct bats, right? In how many ways you can arrange it? Into four factorial. So, what is the answer for this question? Seventeen into four factorial is the answer for this question. I hope it is clear, right? Okay. Now let's move to next concept. Now, now a special this concept I discuss especially right at the concept of ring and finger, ring fingers concept, right? Because what I have seen in most of the quant books, right, this concept is given as wrong actually. Okay. So I'll discuss this concept here. Now, what is generally this question, and what is wrong about this concept? Is we're trying to understand this thing here. Generally, what happens 
if if you see a question in book that in how many ways uh, three rings can be arranged in uh, five uh, fingers or like that right so what is the answer answer is like three raised to five or five raised to three kind of simple answer right but that funda will not be apl- applicable here because the fingers the if fingers are always distinct ring is always distinct to find okay that we'll discuss in the further videos also okay what we can simply make is r raised to n right if there are three fingers and if there are uh, sorry if there are five fingers and there are three rings one ring can be arranged in five ways second also five third also five so people write as answer as 5 cube but this funda will not be applicable here because the ring in when i place ring in the fingers okay those fingers can be uh, this rings can be arranged internally if i place two fingers in a ring i can i can i can uh, say that okay which ring is below and which ring is above in the fingers right so that directly we we can't do right that means fingers uh, this rings can be arranged internally right that funda when we apply we apply when like we have the question of in how many ways we can put seven letters into five post boxes this is fine right if i put seven letters in five post boxes so first letter can be put in five ways second also in five ways third also in five ways third or fourth also in five ways so answer is basically 5 raised to 7 right but but if i say seven rings to five fingers in this case answer won't be like 5 raised to 7 this is wrong and most of the books that is written like that only right including uh, i guess i'll not name those books right so most of the books that is written wrong actually right so um uh, if there are 5 raised to 7 here okay this is wrong why it is wrong because letters in post boxes can't be arranged internally right obviously but rings in fingers can be arranged internally which is below which is above like that okay. so the funda will be we'll try to uh, apply s to d concept in this one and then try to arrange it right for example we have the question here in how many ways in how many ways can Eight rings, or I should say, I should say eight distinct rings. Eight distinct rings can be arranged. Can be arranged in five fingers. In five fingers, such that. there are at least one ring in each finger okay so how do you solve this question now let's see it how do you solve this question so it solves like this okay now you assume that all the rings are identical so i'll first assume that assume all rings are identical so if i assume that all rings are identical what i can say it is sim- simply s to d distribution so if there are five fingers here a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 5 right this d plus e is equal to 8 so eight identical uh eight identical rings i am assuming those rings to be identical so eight identical rings in five fingers right so fingers are always distinct right it's like people fingers are always distinct so a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 8 now all fingers need at least one ring so give one to each finger so what is the answer now 8 minus 5 so if you subtract 8 minus 5 it becomes 3 And three plus four plus signs. So three plus four means seven C four or seven C three. So answer for the answer for this question is seven C three, right? So seven C three or seven C four. And then those uh, eight rings can be arranged internally, right? Those eight rings can be arranged internally because all the eight rings are what I assume to be identical, but actually all those uh, eight rings are what distinct, right? 
So those eight rings can be arranged in eight factorial ways, right? So what is the answer? Answer for this question is seven C three into eight factorial. That's the correct answer for this question. I hope all of you got this right. So there's the funda behind such question of ring of fingers concept. Okay, if there are distinct ring and distinct fingers, right? Then we assume all the rings to be identical. And we can uh, solve like this, right? And this funda can apply to anything. Whenever at solving for d to d distribution, you can always do this thing, right? Assume those to be identical and arrange afterwards. Okay, that will always do. Okay, fine. Now, if I what if I change the question to identical actually, right? So if my question is now, in how many ways? we can arrange four identical rings four identical rings in five fingers so now there is no issue in this right because the rings are identical now so if rings are identical now so there is no absolutely no issue now so it's like just five distinct fingers a b c d e are five fingers and rings are identical So now we do don't have to arrange the ring because rings are identical, so their quotient doesn't matter now. So simple S to D distribution, right? Similar to different. What is the answer? Four plus four, eight C four. So eight C four would be the answer for this question, right? So I hope all these concepts are clear. They are very typical concepts, right? I hope all these are clear. Okay. So we'll meet you in the next video. Okay. Thank you.